You got back uh, this morning. Yeah, very early, 3am, yeah. so. 3am. But I'm here, ready to start, and the weather's prevented us. Oh, I know, but the sun's sunshine. shining I know. out, man. Look at it. I know, shout it. <laughs> just missed the storms that were five minutes ago. So yeah, that's true. It was, on their it way. was raining, hey? Huh? G'day, good humans. Saturday afternoon here in Melbourne. It's uh, just going down Chat Lane now. Love the graffiti down here. But yeah, Hannah and I have been in bed all day. She's had a big night on the booze last night. She had a Christmas work party. And uh, I got up and did the hell ride this morning, but um, had a bit of an Arvo nap. Just going to get some food now. It's about 40 degrees Celsius here in Melbourne today. So if you're from overseas, Google, Google that for Fahrenheit, but it's pretty hot. Humans everywhere today, all escaping the heat. Usually in Melbourne we're complaining about the uh, cold weather, but today, man, it is so hot. It's almost oppressive. There was, uh, the shopping center was packed because I think people were just trying to escape the, uh, the heat. And uh, you could see there was a lot of hot and bothered and sort of grumpy people in the shop, so it was good to get out of there. Quite often the police come on our rides to make sure cyclists don't run red lights. If you're running red lights as a bike rider, you're just making us all look bad, and this is the result of running red lights on Beach Road. <laughs> So this is coming into Oliver's Hill just as we come along our group ride to Frankston, just on the other side of Frankston. A couple of boys here moving forward and I'm, uh, we're quite far at the back so I thought I'd follow their wheels just to get up the front. When you go into a climb and you know you're going to suffer a little bit, it's always better to start at the front of the bunch and that way as you start to blow you can, cr you can sort of creep back towards the back of the bunch and you can still stay in contention. You can see we've popped up to nearly 800 watts there and uh, the climb hasn't even started yet. This is where it sort of narrows up a bit from the main highway into a single lane. And you can see Simon Clark sitting on my wheel there, Orica Green Edge. This is about the only time Simon will ever sit on my wheel. Absolute honor to have him sit on my wheel for at least 10 seconds. And then he shoots off and probably pushes out 1200 watts for the rest of the climb. See one of the boys having a bit of fun here. But yeah, we're sitting on between five and 800 watts. It's a tough little berg, nine, 10% gradient. And uh, you really suffer because it's, it's about a minute to a minute and a half effort. And you can see some gaps starting to open up here. And this is the thing, you've got to pace yourself. I've probably gone a little bit too hard too early and now I'm really starting to suffer and just losing contention of uh, some of those guys up the front there. But, um, Again, that's that's why you've got to pace yourself on these climbs. You just got to not put out too much wattage. Maybe maybe 500 watts would have been a better way to start this climb, and then sort of try and sustain that. And you can see I've blown now. Let go, letting go of the wheels. Just knowing that the whole bunch is strung out, I know that I can creep towards the back of this bunch and then jump onto the back markers, and I'll still remain in contention. There's Mark Lambrew just giving me a little shimmy along. But uh, yeah, just letting a few boys through, just trying to get the heart rate down, the lactic down, knowing that uh, I could probably jump on the back if I just recover just a little bit. All right, so my little trip to the shop was well worth it. I just made up a, um, a little, uh, what is it? Just sweet potato, kale, black beans, broccoli, 
Peas. Peas, carrots. carrots. So a little soup in uh, our brand new Thermomix. So that's the Thermomix bowl. And there's a the Thermomix. So this thing here, this thing is amazing. Like it was while I was cutting up the the broccoli, it was um, it was doing some other shit and chopping up something, and it was just off the chart. So so even a, a cooking retard like me can cook in that thing. But, uh, that's dinner for tonight. Planes never fly over our house. This is weird. I know. That's the second one. How's that sky? Fucking sick. How are you feeling today, H? Yeah. Hannah is hung proper today. She came in last night absolutely steaming from her Christmas party. She was she was so cute last night. <laughs> She's telling me I'm not allowed to tell you this thing that she did, but I've got to tell you. She came in, she I think she threw up in the street and she came inside and she was like, oh my throat, and she started crying like she was so drunk. It was so good. Like, it's not funny unless you It actually is funny. It's not funny. It is funny. How are these bean bags? Amazing. Just heading over to a Christmas party now. It's Saturday night. Just about to get dark over here, so should be uh, should be a few laughs with a few good crew, a few of the old CrossFit crew I used to uh, used to work out with. Good morning, crew. It is Sunday morning here in Melbourne. I uh, had a Christmas party last night and feeling a little bit seedy. Had a few uh, vodka sodas and uh, still still didn't keep me from getting a hangover. But Hanny and I are just going to go for breakfast and try and make ourselves feel better when we nearly crashed. Hanny's really struggling in the heat today. So uh, we're going to go to, we're creatures of habit, so we're going to go to our old faithful cafe. Anna and I are headed out to the uh, Melbourne Cycling League uh, Criterium. It's the uh, Melbourne Kermis Championships that they hold every year around this time of year. So some big hitters are racing, but absolutely shocking weather. Have a look at this. It's, I mean, it's quite hot outside, but it is pissing down. So I'm sort of glad I'm not racing. I mean, I'm supposed to be racing, but I'm too hungover today. I just, I really can't be bothered racing. I mean, I couldn't be bothered racing if, even if the weather was absolutely perfect. So we're just gonna go out and spectate it and probably put the GoPros on someone's bike. But um, if it's raining, I'm not sure what they'll do. So we'll see. What do you think of your parking spot, Han? Fucking brilliant. Brilliant? You're stoked? I'm a We're genius. pretty close. We're like right there. So they're gonna come around that hill and then straight down through there. There's Jero. It's been raining a little bit, so the attendance is down a little bit, but uh, it's always good races. Some big hitters here. Jero just rocked up and a few other big boys, so it should be a good race. I'm gonna see if I can put the GoPros on someone. What's going on, bro? What happened? Uh, with the rain and the heat today, it's just the course is too slippery, man, and I don't want broken bones on, I don't want to ruin anyone's season. Smart, smart so thanks call. for everyone to coming out. The earlier grades were unreal. Anyway, we might have it next year. Maybe, uh, I don't know, one time next year, February or something. So we'll run it all again. 
All right. Thanks very much. New team, mate, I hear. Yeah, yeah, one pro cycling. Yeah. Uh, just been on the training camp uh, down in the south of Spain with them for three weeks at Desert Springs. Really? It was really good. Phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful countryside? Or yeah, yeah, training? amazing roads. Like, yeah. Really cruisy, nice bendy roads, except uh, actually not cruisy. I take that back. We were riding very hard. Well, yeah. So, no, it was really good. So, I mean, obviously a lot of beginners watch this uh, vlog. What sort of, what do you do on a training camp like that? Uh, it's a bit of a mixture because there's a, a variety of different abilities in the team right now because some people are getting ready to go to nationals in January like myself and there's a, three Kiwis on the team. Yeah. And uh, then they, we have more of the classic guys as well that are the UK guys that don't want to start until they sort of get going in March. Yeah. So they don't really want to be doing the intense case that we have right now but we all rode as a, a, a bunch and a, a, a unit the whole time so yeah. we all did the same training pretty much besides yeah. the last day. And and they look after your diet and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, we've got a nutritionalist on the team, so... Yeah. So do you feel it's a really professional sort of outfit, this one? Oh, you're... for sure. Yeah, yeah it's fantastic. Yeah. Like, it's it's one of the most professional teams I've been on, so... Yeah, awesome, it's... dude. So you're obviously... Wait. You're here to come back for the for the Nationals and... Yeah, and yeah. That's so... obviously... That's the Bay Crits as well. Yeah, start that. off at Bay Crits and National Champs. And yeah. then, um... Got uh, Cadells and Sunter on the cards, and hopefully I can uh, get on the Uni SA team for, um... Two down under again. Yeah, you think that's a likely thing to happen, or? Um, we just got to see how I go at nationals, I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah. You in good form at the moment? You think you go well? Um, I've had a pretty solid three weeks now, so yeah. no, it should be good. Yeah. All right. No, that's good, bro. All right. Well, thanks for having a chat. No worries. Thank you. Cheers. Repeat. Did you race? Yeah. Twenty yeah. minutes. Twenty minutes. And you just found that pool. Anyone go down <laughs> in your group? Yeah. yeah a couple of guys. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Eleven hours. That's good. <laughs> it's alright, everyone's alright, aren't they? I think so. Awesome. What about no, you, Martine? Pardon? What about you? I didn't race. You didn't race? No. You're going to do the Dannys? No. Too hard, I raced eh? yesterday. So good I was cruising you. today. No, good stuff. That's unfortunate. It was uh, raining pretty heavily when we got here, and so we ended up having to, um, well, they can the race, which is a bit of a shame. But it's a bit hot anyway, you know, like it's a little bit steamy. So oppressive. So oppressively hot at the moment. So we're going to go home and just adjourn to the couch, I think. But it was uh, good to catch up with Steele and have a chat with him. Uh, he's the national crit champion at the moment. So he'll be going into that race in January, the national champs, uh, as the defending champion, which would be good. I'll get to hopefully get down to that race and get some footage. But um, I just chatted with him then and he said he'd put the GoPros on in his next race so uh, that'll be awesome because uh, he's always at the pointy end of the bike race. Hannah and I are heading to a friend's birthday party we're gonna go have a couple of drinks with them. As someone who has their birthday on Christmas Day I totally understand what it's like to have your birthday close or around Christmas time and uh, people are very busy it's very hard to get people to your party so Hannah and I are going and we're going to hang out with Georgie and have a couple of beers. Woo! Happy birthday Georgie! <laughs> When I first moved to Melbourne seven or eight years ago now from Perth, I moved to Yarraville, which is on the east, uh, sorry, the western side of Melbourne. Really grungy, uh, awesome little suburb, and uh, I quite miss it, you know. Now that I'm back here, I'm sort of like, yeah, this is pretty cool. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> It's so hot, shit started to melt in the windows. <laughs> Dad joke. You know what you are, Hannah? The wind jump. You're a mad moose. Why don't you call me a moose? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yeah. 